Alright guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn how to add a date widget and how to work on it on the back end. So this is the date widget, very simple. And we are also going to learn how to use different types of widgets. So the first thing, whenever you use a new widget is to look on the properties on the right hand side. And the most important property, obviously, you can check out the font and the basic properties. The most important properties are in this abstract box and this queue time edit box and obviously this date edit so for example if we wanted to change the format that first is the date the second is the month and the last is the year we can change the format by double click on it and changing the dates and the months and the second thing you need to remember is this queue date edit so date edit is a very important method that will come in handy when we are working on the code so what we can do for right now is let's just add a button over here and I've already converted this code to Python and added it to my code. So you can see the code over here. So if we scroll up, you can see that the date edit is over here and the button is over here. I haven't changed the name of the button. So it just still says push button. And now what we can do is we can create a very simple method that will be called whenever the button is clicked. So let's actually connect the button to our uh, method. We haven't created the method yet, but that's fine. So I'm just going to write uh, Let's just copy this self dot push uh, button and paste it over here and then we are simply going to write dot click that is whenever our button is clicked make sure that you connect it to our method let's call this method as show underscore date and now let's just create this method so we are going to go over here create our show underscore date method it's going to take a self property and inside that we are just going to print out our date so let's write self dot date edit so this is the method that we'll be using and we got this method from uh, our properties box so you can look on the right hand side and you can see if we scroll all the way to the bottom it says date edit over here so for example if we use some other kind of uh, let's say we use a checkbox and if you scroll all the way at the bottom it says checkbox so you need to use the checkbox method whenever you are coding in the background or in your python code so we are using date edit over here and now to get the date we can just simply do dot date and that's pretty much it so now let's run it and see if it works so let's run it and click on push button this should print out our date so the year is 2000 the month is one and the day is one let's actually change this a little bit let's change the date to fifth and let's click on it again you can see that the date is fifth and the year is 2000 but how to get these values individually what you can do is you can simply write dot day dot year dot month over here and this will give you the value that you want so for example dot for day we will do dot day for month we'll do dot month and similarly for the year so let's actually run this and see how it looks let me just close this one up let's run it again and let's change this to maybe five and click on push button and you can see that the fifth month has been printed so guys, this is pretty much it for this video. This was a very simple and short video, which we wanted. And one thing to remember is that you don't need to watch all of these widgets videos. Obviously you can, if you want to increase your knowledge, but what you can also do is whenever you are creating a GUI application, you can come back to these widgets videos and watch a widget that you want. So for example, we'll be discussing how to create these checkboxes, how to add a calendar. So whenever you want one of these widgets inside your GUI, you can come back to one of these videos and just check it out and use it inside your code. So yeah, guys, so pretty much it for this video. In the next video, we are going to learn how to add a calendar inside our code and in the GUI. So I'll see you over there.